This demonstration the installation of the Ulochic Air uh, Chrysler 200. To begin the installation, you're going to remove the bezel from the outside of the screen. This is just pulled out, or they have little clips on the back side, so I've already released it here. Just grab it and pull it with your fingers along the edge. And this assembly here will just pull right out. And that'll expose the screws on the back side of the screen that we're going to take out to plug in the lockpick harness. After removing the four screws on the outside of the screen, this will allow it to just pivot forward and expose the large connector on the back side. This one we're going to take out and plug into the lockpick harness. The lockpick harness will then plug back into the exact same location. Let's quick look at the uh, lockpick air module that we're going to be installing into this car. This is a plug and play harness, so you're just going to be plugging these lockpick harness connectors directly into the screen and the original um, uh, factory harness is going to plug into it as well. The, um, also there's connections for uh, remote controls. This has fully remote control operations and it has multiple AV inputs for cameras, left, right, front, rear, second, rear, standard AV inputs, plus you have the uh, Wi-Fi which will allow you to stream and mirror from any of your smartphones. To remove the rear connector from the screen, it's really easy. You're just going to squeeze the connector itself and just pull in on the end. When you squeeze it, it will release a tab. You lift the tab up and that will drive the connector directly out of there. Let me show you here. And just like that, it's loose. And now we're going to plug that directly into the uh, lockpick connector. Okay, so now we've plugged in the uh, factory harness into the lockpick harness and we're plugging in the lockpick harness back into the screen, the original location. To insert this connector, what you're going to do is make sure the tab is already up on your connector, and then insert the connector, and then push the tab down, and that locks it in place. Like so. Okay, I've got the lockpick air connected now. I went ahead and cranked the car up. We'll give a quick demonstration of it. Whenever you turn the car on, the radio will act just as it always has, uh, even though the lockpick is connected to it. There will be extra features, though, that you can now activate. I'll use the steering wheel control, or you can use the remote control that comes with it to activate these as well. Just push the voice button, the steering wheel, hold it down, and you're going to get the menus to show up. You can use the steering wheel buttons on the back of the steering wheel, and you can go through these different selections on here. Um, there's an override function built into it that allows address input while in motion. You also have the lockpick air feature. If you select that, that's going to activate the uh, Wi-Fi input on the uh, lockpick air box. This is an aux AV, which is standard AV inputs that go in there. Factory aux is just the sound. You also have multiple cameras. I'll go ahead and select that. You can have uh, view the rear camera. This will be the factory rear camera or your own aftermarket one. You can also install a second rear camera and have that one be the uh, one that shows whenever you put the car in reverse or you can select to that. That allows you to pull a trailer like in the Rams, you know, vehicles like that where you might be pulling a trailer and you would want a second rear camera. The uh, menu will time out if you don't activate something. I'll go ahead and move through them quickly. You can add a front camera to it, left and right cameras. These will all turn in automatically. Front camera, whenever you're driving slow speed, it'll show you a view right at the front of the car. It helps for parking. And left and right cameras will activate automatically whenever you select the uh, turn signals. You also can send out any of these uh, views to the headrest. And that's another AV output that comes from the box, so whatever you select here, you can select onto the headrest options to show cameras or lockpick air or aux AV. All those functions can be brought back and sent to a headrest. There's more options. These are allow you to, um, to select which functions you want to activate. And they'll show you here you know, on the side which ones are turned on. So right now in this car, I have the, the rear camera turned on, so it'll automatically show rear camera going reverse. I also have the turn signal activated, so if I turn in the turn signals left or right, the video input in the box will open up and show me that. I can also put the cameras to show on the headrest as well. So if it was a second screen or a headrest, you can have that show you the, uh, um, the different uh, cameras that might be connected. The uh, interface also will go in two languages, so you can do Spanish or English. And you can get information here as far as um, uh, which... Um, software is involved in it, which version it has, and we can upgrade these. There, um, There's a USB input jack on them. Here I've turned on the Miracast mode. This is another uh, function built into the lockpick air. You can switch between uh, the different types of airplay systems. So this is Miracast. This will be compatible with your Android, and we're connecting it here with a uh, uh, Samsung phone. And here after selecting the uh, screen mirroring, we've mirrored to the screen. I can then go back and whatever's showing on my 
phone itself, I can just mirror that to the screen. And here, just playing a movie. So lockpick gives you video and it also gives you audio, of course. Morning doorway. Morning mall. Morning so I say it's very Good versatile morning, to work with the uh, Android phones, the iPhones. It gives you straight AV is. inputs. You can have any type of player that will plug into it and show. You have multiple cameras plugged into it. All that full control, remote control, or steering wheel control here in the uh, Chrysler 200.